but this is an amazing team for Morales. I mean, okay, it's not horrible, not amazing. And it's pretty good going up against Chromie Liming. I can get Cleanse. Morales doesn't really require another level 7 talent than Cleanse. She can get Mule as far as I know, which is really good, but not as good on this map maybe. Uh, Mule is better on Sky Temple and Infernal. No, not really Infernal. It's good on Sky Temple and Altars of Doom. No, just kidding. It's good on Sky Temple and it can be good on Garden of Terror because those games sometimes take ages. Whether you play well or not. So you might as well get Mule and drag it out and you know keep your fortifications alive. Uh, Stimpak for this team. I could go Stimpak on Artanis if he gets... No, it wouldn't really affect Why amateur opponents anyway. No, Stimpak wouldn't do much for us. Well, You're right. But neither would Medivac. I could just get Medivac to escape myself and that's probably the right choice. Yeah. You'll just use Medivac as a two second delay save myself button. We have massive damage. Three damage and a high damage warrior. But... They have deep penetration. Chromie can hit me from afar and Illidan can jump on me. Focus Morales. No time to waste. So I think it's gonna be good to <laughs> protect myself. Now, prolonged safeguard protects yourself, but trauma trigger does it even more reliably. Ah, so I'll get that one. Because you will that. use your safeguard on someone oh, now and then. Right and the target will switch now and then. Uh, Morales auto attacks are unimportant. Gul'dan and Morales are a pretty nice match. It's best to heal people to about 95% and then just uh, wait, wait the rest out. Nice. Savannah's damage spread. And there you go. How is Artanas doing? He seems to be doing just fine. Now the risk of roaming up is that my teammates, who have gotten used to my presence, will um, suddenly die. And but, but he does need it, you see? He's overfighting. And so if I help him out, that'll be good. Just to keep him up. You favor me, friend. And I hope my teammates down there can be safe. We didn't lose anyone, right? No. So that was good. Just heal him up. And now we start damaging. Are Ariel's auto attacks better than Morales? Uh, no, Morales is much better. Well, Morales attacks for almost 80% more than, than uh, Ariel. But Ariel has more spell damage and also quicker attack speed. So the DPS is maybe 30% difference. Come on, we've got light. But like I said, uh, Ariel has much more damage on the spells. So Morales' auto attacks are relevant because that's still 100 damage per hit. It's not bad. You favor me, friend. Continue to serve me. I'm just gonna oh, finish this off. And you know what? You have my Tapping is better than heart stoning now because we just don't have time. We need to trade as fast as possible. Um, Bio shield could be cool, but it's probably better to get something else. Let's take a look. Good Block enough. is good against Illidan. I'll get block just to save myself. Now, if you have really good heal and positioning, you don't have to take quite as many survival talents. We do have Sylph. Five man pushing is kind of okay with Sylph. 
but 4 I think can achieve much of the same as what 5 could achieve. And we would really be taking a huge risk giving up so much XP in the bottom lane. Like, second Immortal Push it's fine, but the first one should really get as much XP as you can. Need to kind of be careful now. I think we got as much out of it as we're going to get. I'm gonna try never to die. Like even if I can heal someone, die for it, and save them, I'm gonna try not to do it. Just to kind of set an example of safety play, because Morales really should not have. Uh, wow, nice, nice job. Morales really shouldn't be too aggressive. Now, do I get Mule or Cleanse? They have Temporal Loop coming poten potentially from Chromie. In that case, I should definitely get Cleanse. But I don't know for sure that she's going to go for that yet. So then the question is, do you save uh, uh, your choice until Chromie picks her level 9? Because if she goes for the Slowing Sands, I'd rather have, uh, I don't know, Mule or Irradiate on Artanis or something. Not that we really need more damage, but... There's very little to cleanse. Well, let's see, there is Malfurion's roots, the boss stun. Now, you know what? I'll just get cleanse anyway. There's plenty of reason to do it. The boss stuns, um, mouth roots, a potential temporal loop. There's enough. And also, Johanna's Blessed Shield. Why does Sylvana skip the gym to play hot instead? Because she has no time for games. Yeah, I heard that one before. Pretty funny. Oops, my phone. There is no one top, so we're losing some XP, but no one feels particularly invested in getting the XP there. Maybe I can still go there. Cleanse does not remove Temporal Loop's warning signal, um, but it does make a target unstoppable for a second so if you cast it within a second before temporal loop activating eh? they will not port to the new location and there's way too much xp here someone should be getting this which isn't me but i must go and save my ally okay Oh, I can't cleanse uh, the stasis away. Go figure. Not a problem. Killings here. We strike here. You have my thanks. For yeah, now. I did want to damage that fallen shaman. Better alert than but we have a unique opportunity to do some damage while three of we them are dead. So better use it. I've got this one. Because on, this is a difficult position face. to attack into later. Now we must defend again because everyone is going to be back. Okay, level 10. This is where I get my self-escape button. Let's get to work. For the emergency. Which is uh, medivac. I don't mind even now if they 50 percent it from here. We must defend, but I have to wait till every one of my allies is back again. Illidan is still bottom for XP. We should probably attack. We have the level 10 advantage. I am a little bit out of mana. No time to waste. Okay. I'm low in mana. Cleanse him. Safeguard. And some heals. You don't want to heal Artanis too much because between zero, I mean, yeah, between zero, between zero to 50% is pretty much his health point. I've probably been healing him too much. I think I could have had more mana if I just say, good luck Artanis, uh, you know, work with your shields and I hope you don't die. Maybe give him a safeguard if the going gets really tough. Now I can also use dropship to get to my team cloak faster and I think it's a good choice. 
because I don't really have time to wait. What if my team gets blown up like in the next few seconds? So we just use it here to get to the fight faster. And that's one of the many ways you can use medivac. And the most obvious one that people think of is like, oh, what if the five of you flow into an enemy keep? Uh, which is cool, but will your teammates jump in? Will you do a good job? And then there's like, save yourself from an Illidan. And then there is, get to the fight faster. I will save Cleanse for Temporal Loop now, which he does have. He, uh, he's embodying Focus Morales. Very much so! <laughs> Focus Morales, only Johanna. I must stay out of reach of Illidan now. Holy s uh, Johanna, man. I can't believe how how hard he went for me. Okay, what do we get now? Spell shield is going to be good. Uh, couples therapy, not bad. I think I'll get spell shield. Uh, it works against falling sword. It works against the hunt. Both of which hit me out of nowhere. So I'm, I'm sure to get that ability uh, damage reduction. And also with the way that Morales' trait works, where you keep healing up, it's it's really nice to get a little in-between spell shield value. Artanis looks just fine. Nice frontliner, this Artanis. Vociferous Panama Red. That's today's password. So this one is working well. And I'm really gonna try to end this game on zero deaths as well as under 10k hero damage. Just to prove how little damage you really need to do as a Morales. Like, I auto attack probably more than I even needed to. I'll take care of it. I see four on the map, so I'm pretty safe here. I have yet to use a cleanse to remove a temporal loop once. Keep in mind that if someone casts temporal on your ally, I've already said it once this game, but if they cast it and you immediately press cleanse, you miss the window where you can block the, clen the temporal effect. I will heal up the fallen shaman to troll them. Uh, I couldn't heal him again. I should have uh, cleansed away the hunt. But uh, I wasn't fast enough. Oh man. Jeez. Focus Morales. I could fly in. Uh, Wailing Arrow on almost all the minion wave. Almost as good as my Reign of Destruction on minion wave Order yesterday. But I killed five minions with it. If I play Hero League, Halfa, I cannot guarantee hero choices, that's why. I'm gonna go get some mana from the fountain. So, there's a very advanced tip for uh, Morales, which I have unab been unable to apply so far. And I'd like to tell you in just a second. But basically, it has to do with the way your Q cooldown works after you get stunned out of a healing beam. 
Let me see if I can show you next time Johanna comes near. Aggressive treatment, eh? Hmm. Sounds serious. Perhaps I'm not the only prodigy here after all. I've got this one. Kill steel. It's time to strike at their core. Well, yeah, we could probably kill the core, I agree. Um Come on, we've got life to save. I'll get double sh double safeguard. All right. Let's see if I can show you with Johanna now. First, I'm gonna get stunned out of my healing beam. Now, look what happens to my cooldown. I cannot use Q for another two seconds. You are not. Okay, you saw that two second cooldown. Now check what happens next time I heal so oh shit I died to show it. Well I you know I didn't need to die, okay? I was just trying to teach you a tip. Now think about what happens when you heal someone and then you press D to stop the heal to interrupt it. Um, then you will not have a two second cooldown. So right before you get stunned by something like condemn, you need to interrupt your heal beam. And then you can start it again immediately after the stun, rather than Reading a one second spread. delay. Just disable it right before stun, and you can heal again faster. So every time content happens, just press D or Alt Q or... Uh, there's, there's many ways to cancel your beam, two to three ways. But that's an important skill, that's all I wanted to say. A tip that I got from Bakery. <laughs> it's uh, it's an obvious one if you're a Morales main, but not everyone is. I'm only level 8. So that was a nice game. Uh, in theory, we ended on zero deaths. <laughs> no! What? <laughs> I have a lot of mana. I got 99 mana, but health is none. Wrong wave, son.